Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So guys, we're going to study about the improper inter integrals. Okay. In integration, we first of all, we have discussed the indefinite integrals. The indefinite integrals are the ones where you don't apply the limits and you have to write at the end plus C. That is compulsory to write that plus C after you're done with the integration. And then we have the definite integrals. The definite integrals are normally the integrals where you apply the limits. They are known as the ones where you apply the limits. Now, when you have to apply the limits, then there are further two types into these uh, definite integrals. One are the ones which are proper integrals, okay? And secondly, the ones which are improper integrals. Uh, the proper integrals are the ones that you have already done where you have no problem in applying the limits, okay? Uh, the integral is defined for the given limits. That is what we have in the proper integrals. When you have the improper integrals, now why do we call them improper integrals? The reason is that um, um, the integral may be um, undefined for one or both the limits. Now here are the examples. Now, um, in these uh, improper integrals, there are further two types. Now in, in the type one, you see that you have here limit from uh, one to infinity and then there is uh, one over x squared, okay? And then you have like, this is minus infinity to minus two. You see this limit over here, we don't like this infinity. Though you know that one over zero is going to be uh, a defined thing that is going to one over, sorry, one over infinity is going to be zero. But whenever you see this infinity in your, um, uh, I mean, question here, so you will change that infinity with any dummy alphabet over here. I'll tell you in the examples, okay? Uh, so let me give you some examples here. Uh, just, you, you just go through this key point over here. It says, let me erase this. Uh, it says we can evaluate uh, integrals of the form from A to infinity F of X by replacing the infinite limit with a finite, finite value X and then taking the limit as X tends to infinity afterwards once you have solved once you once, once you are done with the integration then you can change your i'll explain that to you okay don't worry about this so the first kind of um, the um, improper integrals is the one which has infinity in the limits and infinity itself is an undefined thing so if you have an undefined thing here in the limits so this is going to be an improper integral let me take you to the second kind of uh, the type two, look at this example here, limit from one uh, minus one to one, and there is one over X squared. You see that between minus one and one, uh, you can see that there is uh, there is Z, zero comes between minus one and one. And uh, if you just let me show you the number line here, there is minus one and there is zero, and then there is one. So uh, can you find one over zero's value? Hmm? Nine, because that is undefined. So limits, we are okay with the limit. They are fine, okay? There's no infinity over here. But if you look at this expression over here and you see that minus one falls within this range from minus, sorry, zero falls within the, this range from minus one to one. So uh, at zero, one over X square is going to be undefined or it's integral that would later on be minus uh, one over X. So that will be, undefined Ikana at x equal to zero. So for that case, uh, you, if you have something like this, you will change that limit uh, with A or B. Ikana where your uh, integral is going to be um, infinity. Look at this example here. You have from 
limit from zero to two over here, Hannah. So you see that x square becomes five over x square is undefined when you have x equal to zero. So you change this um, uh, zero with any, like you can you can keep it as limit from a to a to two, and that is going to be uh, five over x square, and that is going to be dx over here. Okay, and then you can carry on with this, and you see that at the end. Uh, you can declare that what is your answer. So uh, that was a brief introduction of the improper integrals. The improper integrals are the ones that somehow lead to the undefined thing, undefined. Either they are initially, you know, you have the limits which are going to be uh, undefined, like you have infinity in the limits, or later on you find out, okay, ah, yeah, after applying all those limits, you see that your integral is undefined, okay? So um, somehow there is infinity involved in the, this in these improper integrals, okay? So guys, uh, I think that was the introduction of the um, improper inter integrals. And let me tell you how to deal with this, okay? I uh, look at this exercise 9H. Let's try some questions from here. Uh, Okay, so this is exercise 9H. I'll be solving some questions from here. Okay, these are all type one improper integrals, by the way. Okay, so look at this 1A. One to infinity two over X squared. You will not continue with this integration because of this infinity over here, okay? So you will, uh, change this uh, infinity uh, with A or B, C, whatever, okay? So you say that now this integral is going to be limit from one to A. Now you can proceed with your integration, okay? So this is limit from one to A. This is X square minus, X to the power minus two. And I integrate this, I get limit from one to A. This is X raised from minus one over minus one. This is going to be minus two limit from one to a one over x, okay? And now you apply the limits into it. This is minus two into one over a minus one, okay? And now you say that as a tends to infinity, as a tends to infinity, then one over a tends to zero. Therefore, this integral i over here is going to be minus two into zero minus one, and that is equal to two. That is a definite integral now. So it, it was initially an improper integral over here, and then you have um, got it as two here, okay? Now, this was for uh, the type one kind of an improper integral, okay? Now let me see if there is any example of, like, look at this part f over here. Now this is a kind of a type. Sir? Yes, Peter. Sir, you minus two Why minus two? One over a minus two. Peter, this this is minus two over here. Minus two into minus one. That will be one. I mean two. Oh, sir, I have seen your common layer. Okay, so uh, look at this fourth question. Now this is a type two improper integral. Type two improper integral. Okay. Acha. Uh, so this is part F, limit from four to eight. This is four over under root X minus four DX. You can clearly see that if you put your X four over here, this would be four over zero and this would be approaching to infinity, okay? So you say that let, now this is your I, okay? Let I is equal to limit from A to eight, okay? And this is four, over under root x minus four dx. And then you carry on your integration. This is limit from a to eight. And this is four into x minus four raised to power minus half, okay? And then you integrate this. I can write this for outside here if you, if you want. And this is x minus four raised to power minus half plus one is half. 
over half into one, and that is the integration done here. And this, this half is multiplied by this four as a reciprocal, so this becomes eight, okay? And now if I'm going to apply the limits inside here. This is going to be eight minus four square root. That is the square root of four. And then you have um, minus uh, limit from, uh, sorry, the, the, the lower limit, which is a, a minus four. And you see, this is going as a tends to four, under root a minus four is going to be equal to zero. So therefore your i is a defined definite integral that is going to be 16, that is its answer. Sometimes you will see that at the end, you will still be getting an undefined value here and you can declare that your integral is an uh, undefined one, okay? Uh, so what's an example of an undefined value? I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell, let me find one here. Uh, for instance, uh, yeah, this will work for me, yes. The part, question number three, part E. Yeah, I was looking, this is my darling. The question number three, part E. Let me do that question for you. Okay, now look at this. Um, I think in uh, all of them are improper. Uh, uh, says show that none of the following improper integrals exist. Yeah, so all of them they are going to be the ones which will end up being um, improper integrals. Okay, uh, let me do this. This e one first of all. Okay, uh, yeah, e three e. Should I try black onto it? Yeah, three e. Okay, but this is. Uh, limit from half to two, and that is five over two x minus one whole square dx. You can see clearly that if you put x as half here, this all of this would become zero. So you will not be able to carry on with this. So uh, you, we, we, we would say that this is your i. So let this i is going to be limit from a to two, and this is five into two x minus one raised to power minus two, I'm skip, skipping a step here. Okay, this is five, limit from a to two, and this one is two x minus one raised to the power minus one over minus one into two, okay? So finally, this is minus five over two. This is limit from a to two, and this is one over two x minus one, okay? Now, um, Let's put the limit here. This is minus five over two. Let me see someone's mic is on. Please take that off, please. This is one over two minus one over two a minus one. Okay. So guys, this is going to be minus five by six and plus five by two into two a minus one. If you put when your a tends to half, okay, a tends to half, five over two into two a minus one tends to infinity. So infinity plus anything is still infinity. Therefore, this i is undefined. It does not exist because you know your answer is going to be infinity, which is undefined. So that is how even a, you have substituted something at the at the very beginning, you, you are still ending up with an improper integral, okay? Like, I mean, it was an improper integral, but the its, its integral does not exist at all because the end result is infinity. You can check any one of them, for example. Sir, so if the end result were to be zero, then it would exist to oh, be yes, infinity. Yeah. Is yeah. Then it doesn't exist. Okay. Because zero is zero is a defined number, na beta. Okay, na? So guys, any any other part from this third question that, that you think I should try? I should show you how to do that. Hmm? Just one more part, and then it, it it would be your turn to practice. Hurry up! Hurry up! Come on! The recording is on. Tell me one more. Sir? Part. Yes, beta. Sir, just me. The last part you know that you. You have written a and arrow. Why? Because you have. 
because beta this look at the very beginning of this question you had this limit half over here because of this half when you put half here this becomes zero like this is going to be 5 over 0 5 over 0 is infinity that is an undefined so this makes it an improper integral okay so to start with this integration uh, you can only start if you don't have half over here because at half this is clearly improper so we change this half with a and after we have applied this limit a into it at the very end you say okay when a tends to half then all of this would tend to infinity. This means tends to half. It is equal to half. This becomes equal to infinity. Sir, if it's zero, we will know that it's zero, then it will be undefined. Yes, but like when, when your function, when your expression is resulting into an undefined thing. Okay? Okay, but okay sir, thank you. Okay, but I want to do one more part. And you have to tell me which part I should do from this third question. Let me do the B part. If you're not saying anything, then I'll do the D B part. 3B. 3B. Okay. It says uh, limit from 0 to infinity. This is 4 over x under root x. Now, there are two problems with this. This is uh, improper because of two reasons. First of all, you see that if you directly put this zero into it, all of this is undefined. So we don't like this zero over here. And secondly, we don't like infinity, whether it is defined or undefined. We don't like infinity at all in our um, limits. So therefore, we'll change this to, we'll change this zero with A and infinity will be changed with the B so that we can uh, start this integration. So this is our integral, okay? And this is the integral here. So this integral is now going to be limit from A to B, and this is four X to power minus three over two. I have again skipped some steps here. You have to multiply them together. X under root X is X raised to power three over two. And then you move that to the numerator. So this becomes four X to power minus three over two. So now let's integrate this. So this is four limit from A to B and minus three over two plus one is minus half over minus half. Okay. And this gives us minus eight limit from A to B one over under root X one over under root X. Okay. So um, now, when you put the limits here, this is minus 8 into 1 over under root B minus 1 over under root A. So now, when A tends to 0, 1 over under root A would tend to infinity. So this is going to be an undefined um, integral over here, though we know that uh, there's no need to even mention this, but you know, you can still say that when B tends to infinity, one over under root B would tend to zero. We are fine with this. We are happy with this one, but we are not happy with this one here because you know, this is resulting into an infinity over here. So this one is going to be, this integral does not exist. I does not exist. Don't read it out that I, Sir King Rezi ko kya ho gaya? Ke I do not exist ko likha hai. I does not exist. Okay, so this integral I does not exist at all. Okay, bacho? So now this was the uh, illustration, explanation. Okay, and uh, now you have to try out all the questions, all the parts of these questions from exercise 9H. Thank you very much.